Hi, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we will be answering some problems on matrices and systems of linear equations, part one. Okay, so this is a true or false question, but we have to validate why it's true or why it's false. So number one, Z4 is a field. Now, uh, meron tayong result sa linear algebra already that ZP is a field if P is prime. So, the case naman dito, 4 kasi siya, hindi siya prime. So, therefore, this is not a field. This is false. In fact, we can have another illustration why this Z4 is not a field. Okay, back it. So, let's see. Yung Z4 natin, yung laman niya is 0, 1, 2, 3, no? Now, let's double check. This one, kahit ito. Di ba kapag field, every non-zero element of the set has an inverse, has a multiplicative inverse. Now, let's double check. So that means 2x is equal to, is congruent to 1 mod 4. Tama? So, e, ibig sabihin nito, Ano mang number na i-multiply mo mag, sa 2, magiging 1 dapat. So, 2. In other words, 2 has an inverse, which is the x. So, dapat si x, nandyan siya sa loob. Now, let's double check. Uh, apat lang naman to, so pwede nating isa-isahin. 2 times 1, the answer is 2. So, hindi siya congruent to 1 mod 4. 2 times 2, the answer here is... 4, which is congruent to 0 mod 4. 2 times 3, the answer here is 6, which is congruent to 2 mod 4. So, kahit naman mag 2 times 0 tayo, the result is 0. So, wala talagang sumasagot na 1 dyan. So, therefore, number 2 here in this Z4 does not have an inverse. That makes sense that Z4 is not a field. Okay, for number two naman, given any matrix A, there could be at least two RREF of A. So, let's double check. Di ba meron tayong remark already that the RREF is unique? So, nag-iisa lang siya. But there could be a lot of process to achieve the RREF. So, ibig sabihin, di ba, for us to be able to get the RREF of a matrix, we have to do basic operations. Number one is, we can interchange two rows. Number two, we can actually have, we can actually multiply the row by a scalar. Number three naman, pwede tayong, we can add one row with a multiple of the other. So, kahit anong uunahin mo dun, that will still be the same. But the resulting RREF should be unique. So therefore, this is false. Yeah. How about number three? Let A be an N by N matrix if X is a left inverse of A and Y is a right inverse of A, then Y, X is equal to Y. Okay, let's talk about that. Uh, drop lang to, hindi natin ipoformalize. But um, when I say x is a left inverse, ibig sabihin x times a is equal to identity. Pag sinabi naman natin right inverse siya, so this is a y, this is identity. So we have this um, equation na. Now, let's say our x here, I can write that as x times i, the identity, which is just the x. But remember, the identity, I can replace that by a y. And because we can do the association of matrices, kasi na-discuss natin to before sa klase na um, the multiplication is associative. 
in matrix operations. So I can have x a y, but x a is i times y, which is equal to y. So which means your x is equal to y. So therefore, this guy here is true. Okay, so number four, any n by m matrix a is row equivalent to a row reduced echelon matrix. We have this result already and this is true. So, ibig sabihin, by applying uh, those major operations, like yung sinabi kong, you can, you can swap two rows, you can add, uh, you can multiply row by a scalar, and you can add a row by a multiple of the other row, um, and vice versa. So, yung operation na yun will, add, will give you the idea that every matrix would have the RREF. So, basically... This is also true. Okay, number five. Let A be an N by M matrix and B be an N by P matrix. Then A plus B is M by P. Now, so ibig sabihin, yung A natin is N by M. Tapos yung B natin is M by P. Tapos yung A plus P daw is m by p okay now okay sana if this is multiplication that makes the product to be defined pero this is um, an addition di ba yung addition ng matrix kay entry wise so hindi tayo makaka entry wise kung magkakaiba sila ng size kasi isipin mo if this is 2 this is let's say 3 ang m if this is 3 this is let's say p natin is uh 5. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 1, 2 dalawang rows, pero tatlong columns. Tapos, ganito. Yan. So, kung tutusin, wala tong ka-partners dito. Yan. So, therefore, that is not defined. So, therefore, yung statement na yun is false. So, this one is false. Okay, so let's go to number 6. Let A be a matrix in the set of matrices which is in by N with entries in F. So, if Aij is 0 whenever I is greater than J, then A is said to be a lower triangular matrix. Okay, di ba pag sinabi natin lower... Ibig sabihin, uh, ito mga nan zero and then this guy is zero. But when we say upper, that means this is non-zero and this one is zero. Now, if you look into this, the AIJ, uh, kung i-map natin yan as a matrix, let's say A here. So kung titingnan mo, this guy is AIJ, I is equal to J. Yan. So, let's say this is A11, A12, A13, and so on, no? And then this one is A21, and so on. So, this guy here is A22. So, kung papansinin mo, lumagpas siya dito sa diagonal na to, ibig sabihin na ang mga right side, I, I is less than J. Pero sa mga left side, which is can itong baba, I here is greater than J. Kasi example pa lang, A21, mas malaki si I kay J. Okay? Pero yung statement, ang sinabi is, I is greater than J. So, dapat sa ilalim. So, ibig sabihin, zero daw yung ilalim. So, this is not a lower triangular, but this is an upper triangular. So, therefore, this is false. Okay, so number seven. If both A and B are invertible matrices, then this one. Actually, mayroon na tayong theorem nito eh, sa klase. That if A and B are both invertible, so ang um, inverse sa product is this one. <laughs> and in fact, madali ito ipakita kung totoo ito. So, if this is invertible, ibig sabihin, A times its inverse is I, no? And, 
B times its inverse is I. Okay? So, that means, if I'm gonna multiply this guy to AB, this means that this is, and the result will be I, this means na ito is inverse of AB. So, I can have AB times B inverse A inverse. So, this is associative naman siya. So, pwedeng ganito, no? But this is A, I na yan, no? And so, si I, pwede kong i-remove this one. But remember, this is I. So, ang resulta niya dito is I. So, ibig sabihin, etong, eto is inverse pala nito. So, dapat yung inverse niya is of this form, not A inverse, B inverse. That's different. Kasi hindi naman commutative yung multiplication of a matrix. Okay, number 8. Let A and B be any matrices. So, the, these are of the same size, by the way. And um, the transpose of the sum is equal to the sum of the transpose. Madali lang siya. In fact, uh, if your A is AIJ, your B here is BIJ. Yan, kasi same size lang naman sila. Di ba ang transpose niyan is AJI? This is also BJI. Now, kung i-add mo yan, di ba ang result niyan is AIJ plus BIJ. And if you do the transpose of this, <clears throat> you have AJI plus BJI. Which is the, the same as the sum of this. Ji plus Bji. So, basically, ito pala ang totoo. So, this is true. So, again, this is false, no? Ang 7. Okay, number 9. The product of elementary matrices is invertible. Meron na tayong result chan on my previous video about invertible matrices. Sinabi ko doon na the product is invertible and I show the proof. So, paki-refer na lang sa video. So, therefore, this is true. And number 10, let A and B be M by N matrices. Then B is row equivalent to A if and only if B is equal to P times A for some invertible M by N. And matrix P. In fact, this is a theorem. And this is true. I have discussed this from my previous video already. So please refer on that about the proof that this it this will hold. And um yung pro uh yung proof na yan is completely detailed in the video of invertible matrices. That's it. So if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know. Okay, so that's all for today, and thank you so much for watching. So if you have any problem or clarification regarding on the discussion, you may comment down there so that I would know, and we can discuss on that. For those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you, and have a great day.